Here we have a very nice looking 2011 Audi A5 S line, it's the TFSI in silver. The car's in great condition for its age, um, as you'll see in the video. If we start with the offside front tyre, now not a great deal amount of tread on the front tyre to be fair, you've got around 2 mil at the most, so this tyre is going to need changing very soon. Looking at the alloys, you've got these lovely looking S line um, alloys, great condition, no signs of any curbing at all. A couple of light little scratches here and there. But overall, that's all in good order there. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, uh, we have got quite a few small dinks on the rear passenger door. You can probably see that as I just turned the camera there. Um, there is quite a few. Uh, they are very light, um, so not too much of an issue. Apart from those though, can't see any other signs of any other dinks, or any dents, and especially no signs of any damage at all. Mirror cap's in nice condition, nice and clean there. Uh, a couple of light little stone chips around the front arch. Um, look at the driver's door itself, um, absolutely spotless, can't really see any signs of any scratches at all. Uh, door edge is spotless as well, with no signs of any car park chips. And there's only a couple of scratches to the bottom of the sill there, that would probably polish out anyway as they're very light. I'll just show these um, small dinks now on the rear passenger door. As you can see, very light as we move along there, but there is quite a few. Um, starts from around the middle of the door. Loads of little, very small car park dinks, and the biggest one probably being here, um, just towards the front door edge. Again, very light, you can barely feel them in the paint, but again, they are there. Looking at the rear passenger the door, a couple of light little scratches here and there that would be able to get out of a polish anyway. But all in all, great condition, no signs of any chips to the door edge, so very nice. And taking a look at the roof. Absolutely spotless there, no signs of any dents or damage. And then moving towards the offside rear quarter. Again, very nice condition with no signs of any marks there. Offside rear tire, you're looking at around 5mm of tread, so a lot more than the front. And looking at the offside uh, rear alloy, a couple of light little scratches on it again, but no signs of any curbing. So great condition there. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle now. As you can see, it's a very nice looking car. Take a look at the back, again, nice condition, no signs of any dinks, stents or any damage at all. But your rear parking sensors here, just a couple of very light scratches to the back, as you can see. Uh, just about getting a nail into that one actually. Apart from that though, nothing else, no other scratches, no dinks or any damage like I said, so great condition there. Take a look in the boot. Yeah, this huge sized boot as you can see, great condition inside as well. If you lift that up you can see you do get your spare wheel in there as well, so that's great. Moving towards the near side of the vehicle, let's take a look at that near side rear tyre. Again you're looking at around 5mm of tread, so that's great. And then looking at this uh, near side rear alloy, unfortunately we have got a little bit of curbing as you can see around the majority of the alloy, so definitely a refurb on the near side rear. And then looking down the near side of the car itself, it is very bright, um, taking a good look. I can't personally see any signs of any dinks, stents, and again, especially no signs of any damage. Door edge rear passenger door's fine, that's spotless. And to be fair, there's hardly any scratches whatsoever. Car's clearly been taken care of. Uh, door edge on the front passenger door's spotless. And not really any signs of any scratches or marks whatsoever to the paintwork. Very nice car, of course, it is the S-Line. Near side front, definitely going to need changing soon. I would recommend the front tyres need changing basically. They're on 2mm, maybe a bit lower, so close to the legal limit. And again, unfortunately, we have got some curb into the near side front alloy. So again, I would recommend their refurb there. Moving around to the uh, front of the vehicle now. Looks great on the front. Uh, maybe just one stone chip to the bonnet. Um, apart from that, great condition. So overall, bodywork, very nice. Very little work needed into it. Take a look inside the vehicle now. Very nice black S-line seats. Um, that's just a bit of dirt there on the seats. That's no terrors or anything. That will go out, no problem. Great condition. Leather looks brand new. Smells brand new in here as well. So overall, very nice. It's all in good order in the rear of the vehicle. Take a look in the front. 
as you can see, S-line seats, great condition on the driver's seat. Um, hardly any wearing at all to the leather. And the same with the front passenger seats as well. And look at the rest of the interior. Great condition overall, very clean, absolutely spotless. You're basically buying a brand new car here, guys. Very little work needed doing to it. But there we go, if we step inside, I can show you the mileage, etc. You do get two sets of keys with the vehicle as well, which is great. If we just get the car started, no problem starting the vehicle at all. Starts first time, no problem. We just get this door shut. As you can see there, very low mileage, 22,352 miles on the clock. And no symbols on the dash there that you need to be aware of at all. Like I said, nice condition into the steering wheel, it's all multifunction, that works perfectly fine. Looking at the setup here, you don't get any navigation, but you've got obviously your radio and CD. It does come with a bang in the Lufthansa sound system as well, so that sounds great. But everything works exactly how it should. Sorry about the glare here guys, it is very bright. Uh, you've got your heated seats and things down here as well. You can see they function perfectly fine. Air conditioning functions well. And all the blowers function exactly how they should. So everything looks and works great. Taking a look at the documents now. Car's had two owners. Obviously it still has MOT on the vehicle till 16th of the 2nd, 2014. So good few months left on the MOT. And looking at the service history, we get a full non-franchise service history uh, with one stamp. And that was done here, as you can see. So non-franchise at 15,954 miles. So quite recently serviced. There we go, guys. That is the 2011 Audi A5 S-Line. Great condition. Um, basically like a brand new vehicle. and can go straight onto your pitch.